Hello, so happy you could join me on this beautiful day. Hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. What I'd like to do is start off by thanking all my viewers and subscribers. I really do appreciate it and all the comments. And today I, I had a comment the other day about maybe how to incorporate a pier. So I'm going to do that today. A beach, uh, palm trees, maybe a lighthouse with a pier going out. So, what we got going on today is a pre-stretch canvas like always, 16 by 20. Spray painted it like I've been doing in the past with local spray paint that you can get from your hardware or hobby shop. Different colors, browns and greens to get that ocean look that you'll see with the blue. Put some colors in the sky, some pinks. Then on top of all of that, I loaded it up with a thin coat of liquid clear which will help the oils go on a lot smoother and make it a lot easier as you paint. So that's where we're at so far. So let's get started with a fan brush. Fan brush, and I've been using liquid clear on this type of canvas with the spray paint already on there. It goes on a lot better because a thin paint sticks to a thick paint every time. I'm going to load it right up just like that. We'll come in and make some clouds I think we'll make some clouds circular motions circular all the way back who knows it goes right down maybe we'll put some grays down here maybe we'll put some gray color down there for the clouds because you see that in nature you see grays and all kinds of different things happening. But for right now, we'll put that in there, grab a little bit of midnight black. Midnight black, just like that. And we come into some of the pinks down here. If it's too dark, just wipe some off. Nice, come back in there, soften it up. The more you kind of blend in, the lighter it gets. Maybe it goes right down. And to the horizon. Maybe we'll come back in. Some lighter colors. Clean the brush off. Lighter whiters, a little bit grayer. Just like that. Come in here. I think that's more the color that I was looking for. But that's okay, we got some black going in the back. They're just a storm starting to brew off in the distance. In that front fan brush off. Come into the blender brush. Just the corner we're going to use. We're going to tap some of this. Kind of softens it. softens the area. All the way down. 
just like that. I use rags, you can use paper towels, clean your brushes off as you go. Maybe now we can put some seagulls in. And the seagulls do some liquid clear. Maybe a touch of gray. Have them stand out. Just like on a little brush. Who knows? Maybe ours is right here. Happen it. One there. One there. a bigger one there. Get into some whites. A little bit of whites I think would be good. Get some white on there. some whites. Lightening it up. Some of that liquid, liquid clear Smooth it out. Come back into the clouds. Just tapping that. Blender brush. Softens it. Takes away some of the brush strokes too. water lines in. There, I'm just going to grab some white. Get a little roll of paint right on this edge right here. And just come in and tap. Take the blender brush go right across. 
don't have to put too much in. Once you take this blender brush and go across, it pulls it out. Gives you that water line. here and there. Come back into the blender. Can I kind of run across this by accident? There's got to be a different way to come on here and and do these do this water to make it look more real. Just trying different things, and I come up with just using one little one little edge and just tapping it. Even layers in between makes it look like there's water lines. Makes it look like there's water coming. Maybe you won't see much over here. It goes off into the distance, into the horizon. straight as you can. Want the water lines to be straight. Here and there. wave coming in right there, crashing over. Maybe put a little darker back there. Something happening over here. to where it's glistening over there where the water's coming in. Do a little bit more I think. white and a palette knife, that edge. 
maybe we'll determine, maybe our water line's coming in here. Off in a distance. Maybe it comes right down. Closer. Close to there. Got that going on. Maybe we'll have something covering this up in here. Grab a little bit of white. like that just the way it is. Maybe where it's turning over right here. stuff happening out there. That's where it's turning over. It's all foamy there. I like that just like that. Now we'll come in and get some reflection.
Let her brush. Pull down. Pull down. Tap it and pull it down. Off. Also gives you that shiny reflection, that glowy look. here and there. It looks like there's a water line there coming. I'm going to leave that just like that. Now, come into some beachy areas. Some beachy, I think I'm going to use some blues. I always like that look with the beach. Then you can highlight it and make it look more like a white, a white sandy, white sand beach. A white sandy beach. Use some liquid clear, phthalo blue. Here we got something going on. Maybe the lighthouse would be right up there. And maybe the pier is going to be down here. When you walk out, you walk out to the pier. Maybe there will be something here. Some palm trees. Clear whites and blues. Maybe we'll have another something in there. in and blend this in. Some darker colors or some shadows. Some shadows going on. We'll come into the blender brush and we'll start tapping it.
Nein, 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 nein. Tapping it still, Just trying to get that right look. The look, whatever look that you're looking for. And I am looking for more of a browner look. See that popping. Right up to that sharpness.
come into some lighter colors now. Some lighter browns. Maybe a little bit darker in here, make some shadows. Darker in here. Shadows up here, maybe a shadow. And all down here, I think a shadow. Wherever you think. like that.
cleaning the brush off. What I see I think what I see is more, oh, I don't know. Let's take the blender brush, just put the colors on there myself. Because in the beach, it's more smoother. It's more of a smoother, I think, look. Everything is not all not all wavy. I'm just picking up different colors right on this blender brush, just like that. Just tapping it. the beach it's kind of smoother it's got the smoother look to it that just like that come in and put a water line in there that half. 
chisel edge some white and some liquid clear does now. It's a little wider as it goes down towards the bottom. darker shade and it kind of mellows mellows out softens. Let's get into some grays. And we'll make some windows. Take a couple windows. Maybe one window is here. One is down here. Just like that. Got that going on. We'll take this brush here. white and some blue right in the corner on the one side. We'll come in here and make a, the glass. The glass with the window. Just like that. Now we got some red 
and we'll come in here and put the roof on. that edge and we'll come up here and we'll tap in the antenna and we'll take some of that and we'll come in here and tap some railing tap a railing in bottom portion there. Okay, now we'll come in and we'll make some bushes, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and do a pier now. Maybe we'll do a pier coming out that way. sure how I want to do this, where I want to put the pier from. Coming out this way. Oh, 
put it going out that way. Then we'll come in with the other edge. Since it's on this type of an angle, illusion. the distance.
maybe pull some of this down. underneath it underneath the pier and we'll pull down that watery look to it Okay, we'll come in and do some trees and bushes. All in one direction. Got a rounded edge. in here and maybe we'll put some palm trees in some things happening just like that. Just that fast. And we'll come in. Use this brush here. And to get some browns. Load it up with some browns for some palm trees. Just like that. Who knows, maybe you've got a palm tree right here. like that. Who knows? Maybe we got one right up here. Another one out here. Comes in at an angle. Come in with some liquid clear, some greens, yellows, who knows, browns, darken it up.
and allow the liquid clear. Load it right up. Just like that. And we'll start with one here. Maybe it goes all the way down. I'm just tapping. You're getting all these effects. All your branches. All these filling in spots.
all kinds of things happening. Come in and we'll put some brown on these. On this pier. Maybe some yellows. Lighten it up. Little roll of paint. Give it the woods, wood, woody look. white now. Highlight it. Highlight it. Different looks. He has some different effects. some other colors. Lighter browns and whatever. Get a little roll of paint up there. Come in and make some things coming out. Just by tapping. Now, I'm going to come in and do some highlighting on the trees. in. We'll blend these seagulls in. Blend in 
some of this guy. Come back to the brush again for the seagulls. Call this a completed painting. I hope you enjoyed it. I like signing mine in the corner here. I always sign mine with my last name. and the year it was painted. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. Like I said, I had a request for a pier, so I thought I'd throw a distant pier in and see, uh, see how it came out. The lighthouse. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back and see me. Bye.